In this video, we're going to take a look at the power rules of exponents. There's three different power rules that go hand in hand really well, so we're going to do them all at the same time here. The first one takes a look as if we had something like a times b and the whole thing is cubed. And what that really means is we have that parentheses of a, b multiplied three times. a, b, a, b, a, b. If we were to look at this individually, on the a's, there's a total of three of them. And on the b's, there's a total of three of them. Which means this can really simplify to a cubed, b cubed. And what you might notice is what happened is that exponent went through onto each factor. And I want to be careful not to think about this as distributing. If there's any pluses or minuses in there, this does not work. This only works if the things inside the parentheses are multiplied together. But if they are, we have what's called the power of a product, where the stuff inside is multiplied together, that exponent goes onto each factor. We have a to the m, b to the m. That's the power of a product. We also can do the power of a quotient, really similar idea. We have this fraction a over b, and it's there three times. a over b, a over b, a over b. It's there three times, which means in the numerator, the a is there three times. And in the denominator, the b is there three times. Similarly, the exponent goes on to each factor. And again, it's very important to notice there's no adding or subtracting in there. This does not work if there's any adding or subtracting, just if there's multiplying. But if it is all multiplying and division, power of a quotient, the exponent goes on to both the numerator and the denominator. The other thing that I want to look at is what's called the power of a power. If we've got something like a squared, m that is cubed. Inside the parentheses, we have a squared, which is really just a times a. And that cubed is outside the parentheses, meaning this a a is repeated three times. So how many total a's do we end up with? There's a total of six a's there. How did we get that? Well, you might notice that if the 2 is repeated 3 times, 2 times 3 gives us the 6. Often, people remember as an exponent goes through parentheses, it means we will multiply the exponents. a to the m times n, that's the power of a power rule. Multiply exponents as they go through parentheses. So let's take a look at some examples that use these power rules. Here are two simple examples. The first one, 5a to the 4th b cubed. We notice this exponent outside the parentheses. That exponent goes on to each factor. Be careful. While we know we multiply exponents, we're going to eventually do 4 times 3 and get 12. I want to be careful to remember the 5 is not an exponent. The 5 is a base. This really means 5 to the 3rd power. A common error students will write 15. 5 to the 3rd power means 5 times 5 times 5. So I like to take this moment to write 5 to the 3rd as a middle step. a to the... Now, here's where we can multiply, because these are both exponents. 4 times 3 is 12, and b to the 3rd. We can still simplify the 5 to the 3rd, though. 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is 125, a to the 12th, b to the 3rd, for our final answer. How about this one? Negative 5m to the 3rd over 9n to the 4th, and the whole thing is squared. Well, again, we'll notice that the exponent goes on to each factor, numerator, and denominator. As we do, we get negative 5 squared. Make sure you square the whole negative 5. m to the multiplying exponents, 3 times 2 is 6, over 9 squared, n to the 4 times 2 is 8. Well, let's go ahead and 
square the negative 5 and square the 9. Negative 5 squared is 25 m to the 6th. It's kind of a dead spot in my board here. Over 9 squared is 81 n to the 8th. So using our power rules, the power of a product, power of a quotient, or power of a power, we can simplify by moving exponents through parentheses onto each factor, no adding or subtracting allowed, but onto each factor. And as we do, we multiply exponents.